Hi, in this IBM Sterling tutorial, we will discuss about how to create a business process. So in this business process, we will uh, create a process which will validate the input message. Okay, so if the input message is a XML message, it will process that message and send it to the downstream system. If it is not XML message, the process will throw an error. So let's see how to uh, create such business process using the GPM. Okay, so I will log into the our machine, if telling dashboard machine. Okay, so the first thing we need to go to GPM, uh, go to business processes manager and download GPM open run admin and password so uh, we have to create such a business process which is going to validate the input message hmm? so let first I have logged into the GPM new and give a business process okay so first we will start with the start activity end activity and let's assume okay uh, it's a sequential process okay so we will also have the sequence start and sequence end so now uh, since I want to validate the input message so I will go to all services and here there is a service called as if you see XML validation service so just drag and drop this service over here and now connect start to sequence start sequence start XML validation service XML validation to sequence end and sequence into end service okay just save this service and I am giving some name over here one underscore validation service okay fine so it is see I am getting one error this XML validation service has not been properly configured so what I need to do just double click over here you will get this service editor and select the configuration so in this configuration as you can see you have uh, XML input from the primary document means document which you are sending to the process and it is going to check whether the document is correctly formed means whether it is aligned to the XML document or not so that's it just save it I should not be having any validation error now okay if you want to check it also you can just click over here build and validate okay now the next thing is we need to deploy this process to the Sterling server so we already know how to deploy a process go to tools and source manager and here process add and give some name of the process like as one underscore validation service okay and next select your business process okay here just give some description xml validation business process to validate input XML message next next you can all have the default values next and finish okay so if you will refresh over here you can see your processes deployed here one underscore validation service so what we did we just created a XML validation business process and we deployed that process to Sterling server now we will see how to, to test this process so for testing any business process just log into the dashboard 
come to the business process and go to manager okay and from here search your business process so one underscore validation click on go and you can see your process over here if you click to execution manager here and if you click to execute we can execute our business process so just click over here the execute okay and click on the browse button because here we need to provide the input file so we can go to browse button and we can select a file so I do have some XML message so if you see inventory of three this is XML message it's XML document just click on open and select this document and click on go button and here we can see if the process is successfully completed you can see over here uh, status is success XML validation service is successfully completed okay advanced status is none this is the time when the process started this is the time when process is finished it doesn't take even took one second to process this if status report you can see it says XML validation service okay successfully passed XML document okay and the document which I supplied over here it was XML document and we can see it over here so this was the document XML document which we supplied and you can go to instance data and here you can see the instance of this process data okay so inside this process data we have one primary document and this is the SCI object ID so if you click over here you can get the document fine so when I'm providing the XML document it is parsing and our process is successfully getting completed if you want to see your process you can go to monitor and just click over here current processes so here you can see your one underscore validation services completed at this particular time okay so now uh, we will again execute the same business process okay but now at this time we will provide non XML document okay and we will see how it works so okay execution manager click on execute and browse and here you see there is a document called as file one it's a text document it's not XML document so oh, click on go and you can see I am getting an error in the service if status is error and just check what is the error is so you can see it reported an error message it says like XML validation exception and content is not allowed in prolog okay and if you see the document what the document which we have sent so it is not XML document it's a positional document and here in the instance data in the process data you should be able to see the error tag okay so XML validation error and here it says the error detail content is not allowed in prologue okay so in this tutorial we saw how to create a business process and how to deploy a business process and how to run a business process from the dashboard okay thank you